Subscribe to Witstube for latest tech related videos. Last year I did a video on Galaxy Watch 3 vs Apple Watch Series 6 which is linked at the end and that video was worth the comparison because Galaxy Watch 3 runs on Tizen OS which is compatible with both iOS and Android smartphones. So you really need to know if the Series 6 was worth it over the Galaxy Watch 3. But with the Galaxy Watch 4 that runs on Google's latest Wear OS 3, there is no iOS support at the time of filming this video and it seems like it ain't coming down the road either. So right off the bat, Galaxy Watch 4 or Watch 4 Classic will not work with iPhone and Apple Watch never worked with any other phones than iPhone. Well, with that said, the choice is pretty obvious. However, keep watching to know what are the differences in terms of functionality with both of these smartwatches. And if you are like me who carries both iPhone and Android phone, then this video will help you to choose the right one. Everything is time coded along the video timeline for ease of viewing. Now let's start with price and model option. Galaxy Watch 4 comes in 40mm and 44mm and there is a Galaxy Watch 4 Classic in 42 and 46mm option. Primarily, Galaxy Watch 4 Classic has the physical rotating bezel and more screen real estate versus the Galaxy Watch 4 has the digital rotating bezel with less screen real estate. And I went with the Galaxy Watch 4 40mm Bluetooth version which at the time of filming this video will cost 280 Canadian dollar. And if you go with the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic 46mm LTE version then expect to pay about 570 Canadian dollar. In terms of colors, the Classic comes in black and silver stainless steel body and the Galaxy Watch 4 has aluminum, black, silver and pink gold body. On the other side, the Apple Watch Series 7 comes both in 41 and 45mm size which is just a millimeter taller than the previous Apple Watch Series 6 and has a lot of options in terms of body material ranging from aluminum, stainless steel and titanium with a ton of customizable wristband options. The base model of Series 7 41mm aluminum body will cost you at least 590 Canadian dollar and the premium Series 7 45mm titanium body will cost you 1120 Canadian dollar more than the price of iPhone 13. So honestly speaking you get more option in terms of color, body, size and wristband with the Apple Watch Series 7 versus the Galaxy Watch 4 where you're limited. But the fact is that the base model of Galaxy Watch 4 will cost you pretty much half of what you would pay for the base model of Series 7 and the premium model of Series 7 stainless steel body will cost you almost double than what you would pay for the premium Galaxy Watch 4 Classic 46mm LTE version. So let's see if these prices can be justified. Now in terms of design and looks, both of these smartwatch have a distinctive look. If you want a circular dial then you ain't getting that with any Apple watches. So it comes down to your personal preference. I don't mind either of these shapes. Let me know in the comments what do you prefer. But this is how both these smartwatches will look on my 6 inch wrist. If you have a smaller wrist than mine then stick with the 40mm Galaxy Watch 4 or 41mm Series 7. Series 6 and Series 7 both look similar. In fact, I have done a detailed video of their differences and the video is linked at the end. The display of the Galaxy Watch 4 is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass DX Plus and the Series 7 is protected by Ionex Glass. Now in terms of specs, like all my other smartphone and smartwatch comparison videos, just pause this video to read through all the detailed specs listed on the side which I'm not going to read out but few mentionable and noticeable differences are the Apple Watch Series 7 has the most amount of screen real estate which is 1.9 inch display and certainly to me Apple Watch Series 7 display is much brighter than the Galaxy Watch 4. Series 7 has 32 gigs of built-in storage so you can literally store a bunch of songs and images without running short on storage versus Galaxy Watch 4 now has almost double the storage than its predecessor but still it's pretty much half of what you get on Series 7 that is 16 gigs which to me feels a little bit short if you like to store music on your watch for offline playback. Apple Watch Series 7 feels a bit heavier than the Galaxy Watch 4. In fact, Watch 4 40mm is so light on my wrist that I barely feel it on my wrist. 
Apple Watch Series 7 runs on Apple's proprietary Watch OS 8 and Galaxy Watch 4 now runs on the Google's latest Wear OS 3. In fact, it's the first smartwatch to come out with the latest Wear OS 3. I personally find the Apple OS better over Wear OS because of its integration and sheer numbers of apps and games available on the App Store. Galaxy Watch 4 is now way better over its predecessor Galaxy Watch 3 which runs on Tizen OS which has limited apps and games compared to Wear OS so comment down below which OS would you pick. Guys if you made it this far in the video I thank you so much for sticking around please be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for such detailed tech videos. Now in terms of navigation and apps, I have been always a big fan of Apple Watch menu layout with those smooth animation. You can swipe down for notifications and you can swipe up for all these quick settings which are not customizable. The rotating crown on the Series 7 and the haptics are one of a kind not matched by any other smartwatch and I just love it. On the Galaxy Watch 4, you have to swipe up to access the menu which certainly looks great but I still miss the rotary style menu of its previous Galaxy Watch 3. On my Galaxy Watch 3, I have the physical rotating bezel which is also one of a kind not matched by any other smartwatch till this date. But Galaxy Watch 4 has this digital rotating bezel which is great to have but it's not that robust. You can swipe right to access notifications and swipe left to access widgets and you can add a whole bunch of widget which is not even an option on Apple Watch and honestly these widgets are very hard to quickly access the needed apps as they are all customizable. What is also customizable is the quick drop down setting menu. You can add, remove or rearrange settings that you really want. This is what I really miss on pretty much all the other smartwatches including Apple Watch. So if I were to choose one in this category, it will be the Galaxy Watch 4 as I really appreciate the customizable options. In terms of apps, Apple Watch has a huge library of functional apps and games. In fact, I have done videos and giveaways of Apple Watch games and apps, which I find are better designed and integrated compared to various apps. Certainly Galaxy Watch 4 also has functional apps and games and I have also done videos and giveaways of its apps and games. Be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out any upcoming giveaway. But overall in terms of sheer number and quality of apps and games, I will pick the Apple Watch Series 7. Now in terms of battery life, Galaxy Watch 4 40mm has a 247mAh versus the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic has 361mAh battery size with wireless charge compatibility where I can literally charge my smartwatch from the back of my smartphone to a point that I don't even need to carry a charger around. On an average, I'm able to get a day and a half or even two from the Galaxy Watch 4 where I use this watch for about 20 to 30 minute workout, few phone calls and many notifications. I don't use the always on display and if you were to use the always on display, I think you have to charge it every night. With the Apple Watch Series 7 that has a 309 mAh battery size, I can easily get about a day and a half but the wireless charging on the Apple Watch is proprietary to its own magnetic charger so you have to carry a charger and you can't charge it from the back of any iPhone. But compared to Series 6, Series 7 now has fast charging where in just about 8 minutes I can get about 8 hours worth of sleep tracking and I typically put the watch on the charger for a max of half an hour and it will be fully charged. So I think they both are about the same, certainly Galaxy Watch 4 will last a little bit longer than Series 7. Now in terms of calls, notification and watch faces. Both these smartwatches have a built-in speaker and microphone and are able to take and make on-wrist calls directly from the watch. If you have the LTE version on both these smartwatches, you can even take or make a call without even needing a smartphone. Now from my experience, the overall call and microphone quality of both these smartwatches is great. But if I were to pick one, I will pick the Apple Watch Series 7 as it's crisp and sufficiently loud enough. The only caveat for those whom it matters is you cannot play music files from Apple Watch Series 7 with the built-in speaker. You have to pair a wireless earbud to play music straight from the watch. 
On the Galaxy Watch 4, you can do that. But Apple Watch Series 7 lacks customizable third-party watch faces. The built-in watch faces are certainly great, but that's about it. You cannot make your own or install any third-party watch faces. Versus on the Galaxy Watch 4, you literally have thousands of free and paid watch face options. Now it's not a deal breaker for me, but I do understand that a lot of people will be turned down by the lack of third-party watch faces. Now in terms of notifications, Apple Watch with an iPhone is spot on. I always get notifications instantly on my Apple Watch. However, I'm not able to reply or interact with all the notification. Also, I'm not able to get or answer call from third-party applications like WhatsApp, Viber, etc. from the Apple Watch, which really sucks. But the regular call and messages is spot on. In terms of notifications, I can reply to regular text messages and WhatsApp messages. On the Galaxy Watch 4, I do get all the notifications. But with certain apps, I do encounter notification issues like Gmail, WhatsApp, etc. But once you go in the settings and turn on the notifications, you will be able to reply to a WhatsApp message. Now, I really like the Gboard on the Galaxy Watch 4 for replying to messages. In terms of calls from third-party apps, just like Apple Watch, I don't get notified nor I am able to talk directly from the watch with those third-party apps like WhatsApp, Viber. So if I were to pick, I will pick the Apple Watch Series 7 in terms of notifications and calls despite of both not being perfect in this category. Now in terms of fitness and health tracking, I'm really disappointed with the Galaxy Watch 4 because every year since past few years, Samsung smartwatches, despite of having the hardware for ECG and blood pressure, somehow it's still not cleared and officially available here in Canada. Comment down below if you have it in your country. I have done a workaround video to get ECG and blood pressure for the previous Galaxy watches but it's certainly not inherently available and if it's not natively available, it doesn't count. Apple Watch Series 6 and 7 both have ECG which is very accurate. I have compared the ECG reading for the Series 7 and Series 6 against this FDA approved Check Me Pro Doctor by Value video of which is linked up in the card section. Series 7 and Series 6 both have a built-in SpO2 sensor which again from my testing is on par with this FDA approved Oxygen Ring by Value video of which is linked up in the card section again. Galaxy Watch 4 here in Canada lacks both these features despite of having the built-in sensors. Now both these watches can track outdoor workout with the built-in GPS and are pretty much accurate. I've done many videos for both these watches which you can check it out from their dedicated playlist. Now in terms of heart rate tracking, I have compared static and dynamic heart rate of both these smartwatches against this FDA approved heart rate tracking chest strap and this oxygen ring, video of it is linked up in the card section and from my testing, both these smartwatches are great but if I were to pick, I would pick the Apple Watch Series 7. Now Galaxy Watch 4 can measure stress with the built-in stress monitoring app which is certainly great to have and Apple Watch does not have this feature. Galaxy Watch 4 can also measure body composition analysis. With that, you can get an insight on your BMI, skeletal mass, body fat, etc. Now, this is not available on any Apple Watches. In terms of sleep tracking, the built-in sleep tracking app of the Series 7 is very rudimentary with just the sleep, wake-up time and breathing rate, but no sleep stages or cycle analysis that is built in. However, on the Galaxy Watch 4, the sleep tracking is very robust. It does detect sleep stages, cycle, sleep score and also tracks oxygen during sleep. You can't get all this data from an Apple Watch. Moreover, Galaxy Watch 4 can detect and record snores. Snore detect is a power hog and you have to keep your phone in charging and near your watch. From my testing, it did record few snores and even recorded an audio file of my snore with the time that it was detected. This is not even an option on Apple Watch. Apple Watch is the best smartwatch in terms of hand wash detection as I have tried to trick it multiple ways and it has never failed on me. 
Galaxy Watch 4 for most instance was not even able to detect a hand wash. Apple Watch has fall detection alert, so does the Galaxy Watch 4, but again Apple Watch is quite robust and accurate at detecting one. You can also send SOS messages from both these smartwatches. Now in terms of workout tracking, both these smartwatches have pretty much all the needed workout option. They both are waterproof and are able to track your swim. This video is already too long for me to take a very deep dive into workout tracking, but from my testing, both these smartwatches are great. However, I have noticed Apple Watch does great in terms of dynamic heart rate, steps and calorie tracking compared to the Galaxy Watch 4. Also on Apple Watch Series 7, you can pay for the premium fitness service by Apple with which you can have a workout on your Apple TV or iPad and the watch will gather all your fitness data. Both these watches offer activity ring that keeps you motivated and push you along through the day. Apple Watch is also very good at giving stand up and water reminding alerts. Both these watches can auto detect basic workouts like walking, running, cycling, etc. With that said, here are my final thoughts after using both these smartwatches for a while now. Apple Watch Series 7 or Series 6 to me are the best smartwatch that does great at fitness and workout tracking as well. I have reviewed some 40 plus smartwatches on this channel and Apple Watch still stands out to this date. Apple Watch does lack a lot of features that does not make sense for the price you pay like lack of sleep tracking, lack of third party watch faces, ability to play music from the speaker, health data not being well organized in one app etc. But none of these features will make this watch not recommendable. Versus on the Galaxy Watch 4, especially the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic 46mm version where you pay close to an Apple Watch price, there are a lot of features that makes me not recommend it to those whom it matters like the lack of ECG, blood oxygen and blood pressure here in Canada despite of having the hardware built in, inconsistencies with notification from some apps. Also compared to the competition out there for non-Apple smartwatches that will work both with Apple and Android, there are some really good smartwatches for less than what you pay for the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic 46mm and have about the same or even more features and more importantly the compatibility with both iOS and Android. So let me know what are your thoughts and check this playlist out for more detailed smartwatch comparison to further refine your choices and be sure to give this video a thumbs up as it takes a lot of effort for such videos to be made. And if you made it this far you should subscribe as I bet you will find a lot of interesting videos.